huge news today. There are no more subject SATs anymore. There are no tests that are going to be administered and there are no requirements for any colleges anymore to submit any subject SAT. And the kicker, they're removing the SAT essay section from the actual SAT test. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here, so let's get straight to it. So the subject SAT test is separate from the regular SAT, which is still there. Regular SAT is still happening. They just removed the essay section as of June, 2021. So any time you take the SAT after June, 2021, there won't be an essay section. If you're taking it right now, yes, you might still have the section. It depends on which state you're in. And just a quick reminder that your actual SAT essay is a 50 minute part of your entire SAT and it doesn't actually contribute to your score out of 1600. They just give you a score out of eight, but this is unrelated to your 1600, which doesn't really make too much sense. Honestly, you don't really need that. And that's exactly why they're taking it out. So basically right now, for anyone who's applying to college in 2021, like if you're applying to colleges in September of 2021 or anytime after that, you no longer have to worry about any subject SAT. I personally took math level two subject SAT and the physics subject SAT, which was really hard. So this is really good that they're not requiring any of this anymore. So the reason that they're dropping the subject SATs, let's go into that first. It's for several reasons. So the College Board is definitely losing money on those subject SATs because they're only required by a very niche amount of schools, like, you know, the top 50 schools, let's say. And they're honestly not that required when you have APs already. Like rather than taking the SAT subject test in physics, you could just take the AP, which is also by College Board. And that's exactly what most people were doing. And that's what a lot of schools took into consideration and waived the requirements for the subject SAT, which Yale did. And the Yale admissions department actually said that they don't really think that the subject SATs are that required in assessing a student's profile. So obviously the college board over the years was losing money and colleges were actually losing interest in requiring the subject SATs. So this was a long time coming, but the pandemic accelerated this. It's very similar for the SAT essay section as well. A lot of top schools, including Harvard, didn't really care that much about the essay section in the SAT final exam because it didn't even contribute to the whole 1600 score. It doesn't really evaluate how good of a writer you are because they are going to read your personal college essays as well. It's estimated that College Board lost $45 million. It is insane. And I'm gonna link all of my sources down below. So if you're curious to do more research, definitely check those out. It's from the Washington Post and the New York Times, which posted literally like five hours ago. So with schools like Harvard and Yale and also the whole UC system kind of phasing out of certain parts of the SAT, especially subject SATs, they were bound for a change. And they actually issued a statement saying that there are going to be other changes to the actual SAT, like the quantitative and English section of the SAT, the only two sections that are left, that there are going to institute some changes to that. So we'll find out what those changes are in June of 2020. If you did already sign up for the subject SATs, you will most likely, like 99%, they're not gonna require you to take it. So you're gonna get a refund for all of that. And if you really don't wanna take the essay, which won't even matter, so you can just take the SAT now and your essay score won't matter, or you can wait until June 2020, after which all SAT essays are going to be phased out of the full SAT examination. So SAT subject tests are completely different, right? But now you don't have to care about them anyways. So it's great. So the only standardized testing avenues that you have now are the ACT or the SAT, and there are no subject SATs available anymore. This is really good news. And it also shows that College Board is aiming to expand APs so that my minority students and low income students can take those APs because taking an AP is very, very expensive. So they're working on all of this. 
in order to be more inclusive for everybody, which is great. And this is just less stress on all of the students because now they don't have to spend an extra 50 minutes in the SAT room writing an essay that no one cares about anyways. And they don't have to worry about these extra subject SATs. They can just work on their AP classes, which are much more in depth and show a lot more rigor anyways. If you found any value in this video, don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And it would mean a lot if you consider subscribing to my channel. I post every single week about all things college and I make the videos you guys wanna see. So you could always comment down below what you wanna see and it will be up there, hopefully. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you have any specific questions, but hopefully this kind of answered everything and now you know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys at the next video.